Smile and an M4A1. One Ooh. for one, into the side. Carrigan swings and dinks up another. Woxic to try and defend. It's not the perfect weapon for the job. And I think he realizes it's not the one for him. He puts down the smoke. Taking the fight was frozen. Astralis top sight's working. It certainly is. I don't think Robs and Voxic will have what it takes to actually win this round, considering they're the orb and minimal utilities can be very difficult. The Molotov should confirm it as well. Robs can't even explore his options. They're gonna fall back and save their weapons. It's the upper rush there. Working out for Astralis. They're gonna need a lot more where that came from as they somehow don't land that Molotov. They won't have a knock-on effect in the round, but still a little strange. That's better from the device. <laughs> Nasty way to go. Shot between your legs. But plenty of money, as Chad already highlighted. Just one round for series points. It would Grand be a final. Be a massive choke for Mousebots here if they're not able to convert one more round to get them 15 yes. with this kind of a bank account. They, they definitely got two or three more buys, right? Chad, so, I have to say, though, Mouse Sports, though, as a, as a team, as an organization, over the last couple of years, okay. they've been in this driving seat for a, a few times, right? Most notably, I think it was ESO 1 New York, where they had like a 12 3 lead against the Liquid. That was with the old roster, right? That was yeah. The old roster. I'm just, saying, was, I'm just trying Sachs to bring there? some storylines in. Okay, here's a storyline. Didn't Sunny like crater on nuke in a crucial game for the old mouse sports that was he definitely <laughs> that's did that's a throwback that was a huge throwback and <laughs> I wish I could I, w I reckon it was even against Astralis if I was really pulling on teeth but uh that's a conversation for another time because instead of the counter strike that's happening right in front of us is the topic of discussion Oh, Frozen has a lot to deal with right now. If he calls that nothing's aggressive around ladder, all the smokes and molotovs that have just been thrown by Astralis have not wasted, but the strat that this is suggesting is called completely off. So they're just going to creep all the way down to Robs. secret and Robs, Robs has to go huge. He what wasn't happened? expecting that. He wasn't expecting them to be so far down, never mind combat ready. Now Spores lose a man early. And already Woxic has rotated in. He has got to do a whole lot of close quarters orping. He's done well to find the first. There's more where that came from and he knows it. Looking for a second. Already pushed up on the site. Clearing his corners. Takes down Dupree. His, that is more than you could have asked from your orp on the rotate. But already the man advantage remains in Astralis's hands. The level of Counter-Strike is rising by the second here as the pressure is mounting. We are going to see Crochet deny the plan though. That's huge. That's from the ramp from two on two now. Oh, Here, oh there it is. Looking for series point. They might have They've found it. it. Frozen confirms it. Mouse Sports one round away from knocking Astralis out of the tournament here in the semi-final after getting absolutely trounced on the second map. Yeah, impact player Woxic is right. Chris J, he stops this bomb. That's a crucial frag. That's an impact frag. But Woxic close quarters orping against two as well. Frozen's the one with the cherry on top. Pulls home the 15. My goodness, last time out for Astralis. No more <laughs> no more chances for Zonic to pipe up for no. the rest of this net nuke. Well, well, well. Money is not looking good. Mouse Sports have got four lives here, Chad. And to start with, Astralis will have $3,000 on Mages. Device, same story. Dupree saves an AK-47. We'll see what he can do with it, but it's Desert Eagle for Mages coming through. A Galil for Device, this could be it. If ever there's a chance to close it out, this would be the round. Surely they've done it, though. Four rounds to go on the CT side of Nuke, and the showing they've put in so far, they've only given away two rounds, one of which is the pistol, and then round number 25 by virtue of Bomb Explosion. They have dominated the second half. Now, if Astralis are able to pull this one up with some pace, we saw the top rush before. There's a chance to break the money of Mouse Spots here late and get themselves back in this, but it looks like just the standard secret smokes. The Molotov to land to ensure it. If they can't get across, if they can't even get to lower, then this round might be done and dusted. The utility, it's just dropping. It's, just, it's a fast split. They're going oh, main. They flash each other as well. The first kill, very important. Robs, wow. frozen, all chiming in. Carrigan, the master of the upper bomb site. He's good for one. And now a three on two. Astralis do have the man advantage, but this is a great position. They go towards lower. Where is Voxic? That's the big question at this stage. He's towards ramp. Maybe he can deny the plumb. It's very unlikely. The bomb's already going down, I think, behind the silo. So we won't get the magical moment just yet, but there is the incendiary. That does flush him out. Great job from Zippe. Sets Chris up. One versus one available. Doesn't hit the shot in the crucial encounter there was Zippex, and it's going to be another round for Astralis. Three lives. Well, you could see what I was saying about the money situation. Now, Mouse Sports, they need to reconsider their options. They need to have a discussion about whether they want to buy at this point. They don't need to. Henry's just said they have three lives, so they can give one of them away right here with just a partial investment. And when I can see Scouts and Mag 7s being bought, I do believe that's what's on the menu this evening for Mouse in round number 28. 
or overtime written all over this. Oh dear. Mouse boards are known as closers. Let me tell you. They they do struggle to find round number 16 and Astralis are the masters of the comeback. They're not yeah. chokers anymore. They know how to get themselves back in these games. And the loss bonus of the CT side will be $1,900 coming to the next round. We might not even have to have that discussion. Oh, this boost towards the round from the, the opening kill. This could be enough here. It's oh, frozen with multiple players in front of him. Rops will try and chime in. He's got three. Could this be the moment? It's He's not quite it. there it is. And the shotgun will find it for Mouse. 16 to 12. They knock Astralis out of the tournament and book themselves a place in the grand final tomorrow against Fnatic for the best of five. Flat so high they can't touch us. So top notch, none above us. We didn't came so far, now we up now. Had a vision stuck to it, never back down. Never had much, now we on the whole thing. Spread it all around the world, watch it all change. Came alive, now they all see the greatness. Like shine so high they can't take it. Dancing with my fear, burning with tears. We gon' take it to the edge. And come alive, go to hell and back. Just to feel the fire. Count on it. They ain't count on it. Show what you gon' do. They don't.